Welcome back to the smartest year ever, our quest to win the world's greatest conversationalist. My name is Gordy, and I was just wondering, has there ever been a day where no humans have died? I'm excited about this one. Like and subscribe if you haven't, so you can keep up every single day. I do this every single day. According to the United Nations, about 153,000 people die every single day. That's more than 6,000 an hour, or one death every 0.6 Second, so here's the question I was wondering, has there ever been a day in human history where no one died? Everyone who started that day ended that day. And to answer that, we need to start with a brutal truth. In all of recorded history, there's almost certainly never been a deathless day. As long as history has existed, we have been dying. By the time humans started keeping records, the global population was already enormous. According to historical demographers, like those in the Madison Project, uh, which is one of my sources today, the world population around the year uh, 1 AD was roughly 300 million. The United States is around 340 million today for reference. So by the year 1 AD, there's already a lot of people and thus a lot of opportunity for things to go wrong, plagues, war, infections, childbirth, gladiator fights. Even if one region was experiencing a rare moment of peace, another was in full collapse and doesn't a nation at peace for a long time often just mean more old people and thus more old people dying? And that might have been like 40 years old at the time. Uh, but today, Earth has over 8 billion people, and obviously that math is impossible to beat, whether it's illness, accidents, or just time catching up. Every second someone dies, there's no such thing as a quiet day in that respect. So if we wanted to find a deathless day, we have to look way back, way before history, before agriculture, before writing, before cities. We got to go way back in prehistory. Um, so for the sake of this, we are defining humans as homo sapiens and the earliest homo sapiens evolved around 300,000 years ago. And for most of that time, we lived in scattered nomadic groups, dozens, you know, not thousands per community, dozens. And obviously we don't have census records or something like that. I guess we have archeological fragments. So could one of those days, tens of thousands of years ago have actually had zero deaths and Studying this and, and researching this, I'm very excited about this. I, I, I think there is one moment in prehistory that, that gives us a real shot at this. And I talked about it, this moment a bit in my other video, how many people have ever lived. That's from May 13th. I'll try to link it at the end of this video um, so you can check that one out. Because if you like this and you're going to like that one, I, I promise you that. Um, so about 74,000 years ago, the Toba super eruption in, in what is now Indonesia unleashed one of the largest volcanic events in the last 2 million years. Some scientists believe it triggered a volcanic winter, you know, cooling the earth, wiping out vegetation and collapsing ecosystems. Genetic models suggest that Homo sapiens may have been reduced to as few as 3,000 to 10,000 individuals globally in the wake of this volcanic winter. That is not a lot. That is like a small college in New England. <laughs> Talk about what I know. Uh, <laughs> and um, so this, this is known as the Toba bottleneck hypothesis proposed in the late 1990s by anthropologist Stanley Ambrose. And it's still debated today, but if the hypothesis is even partially accurate, this was one of the only times in our history where a deathless day may have been statistically possible. So let's break down the math a little bit so you know I'm not just completely talking out my ace. All right, so if you had, let's say, 5,000 humans alive, and you use modern estimates for hunter-gatherer mortality rates, about 30 to 50 deaths per 1,000 people per year, according to research published in Population and Development Review. Uh, you'd expect about 150 and two, uh, between 150 and 250 deaths per year. And that averages out to about 0 0.4 to 0 0.7 deaths per day. So, while most of these days still had someone dying, you'd occasionally have a statistical fluke, a quiet day, maybe even two in a row. In other words, yeah, during this near extinction phase, a day without a single death was technically possible. Not necessarily likely, but it was possible. But obviously we'll never know for sure, you know, there weren't days that were being marked with a chalk on a, on a cave wall being like, no one died today. 
You know, if one of them passed without death, it left no trace, just like the people who lived through it. There wasn't some centralized news station announcing death. So to answer the question, has there ever been a day when no human died? I'd say maybe. But only when the human race was on the brink of extinction, fragile, isolated, and nearly dead as a species, you know. Since then, no chance, obviously. Not even close. As our population grows, so does our body count. Today, we die by the hundreds of thousands every single day, and I don't think we have had a break in over 70,000 years at the very least. So there you have it. If a deathless day ever happened, it was probably in the silent aftermath of a volcanic apocalypse, one cold, ash-dark morning when nobody died because there were almost no humans left to lose. Go check out my sources for this one if you don't believe me <laughs> or if you just want to read more. Give me a like, subscribe, Share this with someone who likes this sort of thing. I'd really appreciate that. Go check out my one-minute version I do of all of these. Every single day I do a one-minute version too. And you can see that on social media, at Smartest Year Ever, everywhere that you are on social media. Um, and in the meantime, stay curious and stay clever on our quest to become the world's greatest conversationalist. I will see you tomorrow in July in the Smartest Year Ever.